1.3 billion doses by the end of the year. That's the claim from drug makers Pfizer and BioNTech after announcing their COVID vaccine is more than 90% effective. Theirs is the first successful data from a large-scale clinical trial and widespread vaccinations could roll out by the end of December following an application for an emergency use approval from regulators within weeks. German company BioNTech admit they're still waiting on more results to further prove its safety. It's true that this type of medication has no approval yet, which is why we are carrying out this compatibility study with more than 40,000 test persons to find out if there is any intolerance, even a rare one. What we can prove with this study is that the vaccine is compatible and that side effects are mild and moderate and that there are no severe side effects. News of the vaccine sent global stock markets soaring. Scientists welcomed the news of the 90% effectiveness, much higher than been expected, but also raised questions. We have to know who received the vaccine in this first trial and uh, uh, evaluate if this fantastic result could be extended also to other populations which are much more in need for being vaccinated. I mean oldest people, uh, people with comorbidities uh, who are at risk of severe infections and probably were not included in the first trial. As the World Health Organization's decision-making body met in a largely virtual conference, questions were already being raised about how any vaccine would be distributed, especially to developing countries. The world has come together as never before to ensure these life-saving tools are developed, produced, and allocated fairly as global public goods, not private commodities that become one more reason some people are left behind. 1.2 million people have now died of the virus, and more than 50 million people have caught it, 10 million of them in the US. But the pandemic shows no signs of abating, with Hungary and Portugal the latest countries in Europe to reimpose strict measures. The assembly did have one reason to celebrate. The victory of Joe Biden means the US will be re-establishing its relationship with the WHO after Trump formally began withdrawing in July. The funding the US brings is key, as the organization revealed. Although the world's expectations of the WHO have grown dramatically, their budget hasn't. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera.